You're tuned in to WFGM Radio 835, the premier source of news, music, and programming on the inner planets. I'm Matt Dahan, your narrator. Today's story, the people we will meet on board the Ellen Austin. Who is in command? Who will have our backs? Who can we trust when things go sideways? The Ellen Austin is helmed by the calloused Captain A.J. Griffin. Rain or shine, hell or high water, he's made his home sailing the Atlantic. A force to be reckoned with, he is a rigid leader with a fierce loyalty to his crew. Our heroes will soon learn that A.J. is a powerful ally, but one who casts a heavy shadow. A veteran of the American Civil War, he's been weathered by the darkness of men. The battles he fought, the choices he's made, still saturate the lanes he sails. For A.J., the ocean carries endless possibilities, but echoes of his past are always right beneath the currents, rippling, rhyming, and it will haunt him once again as we troll the Sargasso. But how did Samuel, Rose, Margaret, and John end up on the Ellen Austin in the first place? Well, it was because of the ingenuity of Morgan Reese, the sailor we met at the end of episode two, The Brick Satellite. Kind, adventurous, and a friend to all, he is our ship's bosun, a foreman who watches over the duties and well-being of all on board. Although he doesn't match AJ's level of precision or experience, Morgan has salt water pumping through his heart and has endeared himself to all. Morgan's got the trust of his captain and the ear of his shipmates, a perfect conduit. He can also play guitar fairly well, which makes his shanties quite good. This is not a pleasure cruise, of course, and our heroes are not alone on this voyage. As usual, the Ellen Austin is filled with passengers, crew, and cargo. They will share their latest adventure with folks from all walks of life, one of whom will change the trajectory of their story forever. This individual's name is Cal, and with just... What in the... First the window, now the bulb? Oh, okay, I think I know what's happening here. I apologize, listeners. It seems that some inhabitants of the pulp universe are less forthcoming than others. We'll give you the details as soon as they become available, so please stay tuned for further updates from the Sargasso. Until then, this has been Matt Dahan with the WFGM Radio 835 News Update, reminding you not to be scared of the dark. That's where the dreaming starts. <laughs>